Hello, my name's Helen Aberdeen and I'm the lay minister here at St Matthew's Church. As many of you will know, we are in the season of Lent. It's a time for fasting, reflection and repentance when we remember Christ spending 40 days in the wilderness being tempted by Satan before he began his ministry. <clears throat> And we come before God in this season and we ask him to show us ways in which we, as the confession liturgy puts it, have marred his image in us. So, in the spirit of Lent, I share with you something that God showed me last weekend. I was on a lay minister's conference and on Saturday evening we had a quiz. Five rounds which included a really tricky general knowledge question. Uh, round, I mean. And one of the questions was this. Which English king was the first to abdicate? Edward VIII, I said confidently to my team. But one lady on the team thought differently. Richard II, she said, and proceeded to give what I thought was a pretty dodgy reason for her answer. But to be honest, I wasn't really listening anyway, because I was sure I was right. So I insisted, and she obligingly scored out her answer and wrote in the one which I was sure was right, Edward VIII. And I admit to feeling a little bit of pride at that moment that my historical knowledge was more sound than hers. So we swapped our papers with another team, as you do, and I sat listening as the answers to the general knowledge questions were read out. And the answer to number four said the host, Richard II. Ouch. At least I had the grace to apologise, uh, an apology which was very gracefully accepted with a smile. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 3, the Apostle Paul writes this. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Now I don't think he's saying we have to lose our self-esteem or fail to stand up for what we believe in. But I do think he's saying that we should take time to properly listen to and respect the thoughts and views of others. And be willing to consider that we might just not have all the right answers. Something which I was not really willing to do in that quiz. God uses such little incidents in our lives to nudge us slowly, bit by bit, along the road to being more like Jesus. But if I'm ever asked in a future pub quiz which king abdicated first, I'll be very confident in stepping up to answer. <laughs>